So here I've got a Blue Eddy EB3A that I bought about two weeks ago. And I got it hoping that I would be able to run one of these cheap diesel heaters off Amazon. This is a Silvel, basically the cheapest one that's on there. It's an 8 kilowatt um, diesel heater. So my question and concern was if the Blue Eddy would have enough amperage to power on the diesel heater. On startup for the glow plug, this is pulling around 10 to 11 amps. And the DC side of the Blue Eddy is rated for 10 amps out of the cigarette lighter and these 5.5 jacks. And obviously you could get another converter to plug into the AC side of the Blue Eddy to convert it back to DC to power on the diesel heater. But that's just a lot of back and forth and you're wasting a lot of the battery capacity of this, which isn't all that big to begin with. So when I bought it, I ordered two different ways to hook it up to the DC side, one with the cigarette lighter and then the other with this 5.5 by 2.1 jack, which does work with this. And I've been running it on that for probably 30 hours at this point. But I was curious if the cigarette lighter would be able to power it. And I had some people asking, so I'm going to get that wired up and try it out. And the big thing you want to look out for, especially on the cigarette lighter of these, is what they're rated for as far as amps. Most cigarette lighters to charge your phone and USB, stuff like that, is only going to be rated for two or three amps. And the Blue Eddy's rated for 10 amps, and this is going to be pulling, call it maybe 11 amps at a peak, worst case. So you're going to want to make sure that this is rated for at least 10. This is 12 or 15. I'll have to double check because it doesn't stay in the package. And then the same with this wire, it's rated for, I think, 15. And I can try to link these in the description. These are basically the cheapest you can get off Amazon. All right, so here's the cigarette lighter. It's got an indicator light, and then it comes with these connectors on it. But I'm going to cut these off and then steal this connector and wire it up to this SAE-style plug. So at Harbor Freight for, I think it's $10, but maybe with the coupon I had, it was $8. You can get this whole little cable kit. It has all these different ends and a 10 foot uh, strand of wire and then the reverse polarity plug. So obviously there's a ton of different ways you could wire this up. Um, but for now, that's just what I'm gonna be using are these because I have them and they're cheap. And I'm just curious if it works or not. So this was the issue I had with this one. This was only rated for three amps. So tried to plug this in there and then power the machine with this end, but it blew the fuse inside of here. All right, so I got those on, just need to put the heat to them. Pretty simple, red to red, black to black. And uh, if you're like me, you'll forget to put that uh, heat shrink stuff on it. So it'll just be left like this and I can electrical tape it if I feel like it needs it. Then after the heat gun, this is what we got. A nice tight waterproof connection. And again, if you're gonna have this outside, you might want more over it than this, but I like this little jack connector style more. So I don't think I'm even ever gonna use this and might end up taking it apart anyway. So I'm not too worried about it. So then with this little kit, this is where you're, you need that reverse polarity connector. Because as you see here, it would be red to red like that. So with this, that comes in that Harbor Freight kit. It swaps that around so you can connect them. And if you went with this option, you might want to tape this up and have it protected too. But this is good enough for us to try it and make sure that it works. All right, so this will be the moment of truth. Get plugged in there. We've got power there. 100% power on the Blue Eddy. It's powering it up so far. Uh, we'll go ahead and prime it for a little bit. see and you can see here is how many watts it's pulling right now it's at 33 and going up and 
it shouldn't take very long to pop if it's going to pop, the breaker that is. And I've got the Blue Eddy plugged into the wall right now, so you can see it's pulling in 150 watts. Um, so you can be running that while you're charging the Blue Eddy if you've got it set up with a 120 outlet. And I've also got solar plugged in, but it's been all snowy and cloudy. sitting around 94 watts which I think is about I haven't really paid too close of attention but I think that's about the max it gets up to is 100 or so and it's starting to pump I'll make sure this is set on high This is running to start and shut down. It takes about five minutes for the whole startup and shutdown process because it goes through the same thing where it heats up the glow plug really hot and draws a bunch of watts. But then once it's running, it'll run on high for um, about six and a half hours, pulling 37 watts out of the Blue Eddy EB3A. Or if you have it all the way on low, it'll run for about 30 hours, pulling between five and six watts. So if you have this in a car or something, I mean, you could run that for a long time. Let's see. 110 watts. Now our watts are starting to fall pretty quickly and it's up and running, so it looks like, yeah, that cigarette lighter, as long as it's a 15 amp one like that, looks like it's enough to power the eight kilowatt diesel heater. So here it is, about six minutes since we started it up, running full power, going 37, 38 watts. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it says between 6.3 and 6.5 hours of runtime at that watt usage and it's pushing out right now 250 70 it'll get up to 400 plus in this area depending on where you measure i've got it all the way down on low and you can hear it's a lot quieter pulling between five and six watts and oh now it's charging on some solar so and it'll run it at that for about 26 hours 28 point um, so yeah and it's not too loud there's a little bit of a ticking sound from the pump but it's not unbearable and then on low it still pushes out it's just going to be a little warmer because it was on high but in that couple hundred degrees so if you have it like i use this just pointed right on me wherever i'm working if i have an engine or something i roll it right over here so it's really nice and toasty so yeah, I have had pretty good luck running a uh, eight kilowatt diesel heater off the Blue Eddy EB3A. And it's my understanding that for people that haven't had luck with this working is I think they're on the old uh, software update. If you go into the app on your Blue Eddy and the little settings at the top right, you click on that and scroll down, there's the firmware update. And if you click on that, it should be running at the newest version. I wasn't really sure how to show you on my app, so I wrote it down on some mechanics paper. Um, the DSP and ARM, this I think is the same, 
but the ARM, this is what it is online at least, is the V2062.04. I underlined that because someone had asked a question and his was 03. So that would be my guess. If it's not working for you to check your firmware, and then I would assume you can update it through the app. I've only had this for like two weeks, so I don't know anything about it hardly. But worst case, I would email Blue Eddy. I emailed them a question about this and they got back pretty quick. So I think they have pretty good customer service. At least that's how it seems. But yeah, so if it doesn't work, I would definitely check this and make sure that you have um, these cores that are rated for the correct amps. Otherwise it could blow and it's not either of these issues. Again, I purchased all this off Amazon, even the Blue Eddy, so I think I can link that uh, down in the description in case anyone's curious, especially for these connectors, because I have videos that they do work and they're holding up to the amp, so, and they're as cheap as I can find because I'm pretty cheap, uh, as well as the diesel heater. It has a coupon with it currently still, so not a bad way to go for, I think it was right at a hundred bucks. So yeah, I hope that helps someone out there. I tried to find a video like this before I ordered these to make sure it would work. And then finally decided to just pull the trigger and try it. And if it doesn't work, I can send it back through Amazon pretty easy. So yeah, thanks for watching.